You know, Let's Playing, uh, it's a load of bollocks really, isn't it? Uh, sometimes anyway. Um, so I've play already played the first ten minutes of Last Day of June, and I've realised I really shouldn't be wittering all over it, because it is a lovely, quiet, cinematic game. A story about love and loss. And it feels almost weird, just me trying to be a wise-ass over it. But I think, well, sod it, it's, um, it's a great-looking, interesting game, and I, and I do actually want to make a video of it. Um, but I might be quieter than usual, I don't know. <laughs> Because um, I just want to like almost like sit back and enjoy this. Um, it's by some like big industry names, and there's even the bloke behind Porcupine Tree doing some music for it, uh, which is rather cool. So let's actually um, uh, we'll give it uh, like uh, maybe 20 minutes. Uh, this feels like the sort of thing you should be playing for yourself though, and really get into the whole feels of the situation. So, right, with that all in mind, let's actually give this a bit of a go. Uh, it just feels like a game I should be playing, but also I shouldn't be playing. Mwah! Yes. So I think I'll be, um, I'll say I've played the first 10 minutes already, just to have a, to see what sort of, oh, she's cold. All right. So just to see where it's going. So I will be able to, oh, okay. So I'm staring at the car. Right. Okay. I did actually miss, I actually missed that um, little cue first time around. So now I'm being given control and we can actually start toddling around. Oh, sorry, love. <laughs> I almost kicked your um, drawing pad there. Right. Also, the first thing I discovered, um, to start with, I thought it was like some interesting art direction where it was very kind of like um, side on. Everything you did was side on. Um, like Matey Boy, who does the films, who I've completely forgotten the name of. Um, but you can actually move the mouse. I missed that little detail first time I played for about five minutes. Um, I'm going to grab a little flower. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. Ah, piss off. And apparently she loves me. Um, you do actually get an achievement for that, I found out first time round. But what you could also do, um, let's just take our little flower back. Uh, ram it down her face. There we go. Take this. She likes it. Yay, she's now Diane Keaton. Good. Uh, carry on sketching. Let's have a look. Actually, you can't actually move the... Um, yeah, you can't actually move the view too far over there. So, this time, let's have a bit better of a look round. So we, I do need to get her cardigan from the car, but now I've actually discovered how to move the mouse. <laughs> I'm actually going to investigate stuff I missed first time around. I can pick up another flower, but all I can really do now apparently is do this again. Let's have a look at the, um, the little playground here. I wonder if I can actually just like, sod off the flower. I wonder if I can actually do anything here. Ah! A little bit of physics for the lads. C uh, can't interact with it otherwise, though. I feel like I should be investigating new things. Now, if she could only come up here, I might actually be able to give her a bit of a seesaw. The detail in this is lovely. You can actually just hear the little creaks of the seesaw as it goes up and down. Um, let's have a toddle off to the car. I mean, this is only, I think this is only the, uh, the prologue at first. And it is supposed to be like cinematic, um, so done in scenes and all that sort of stuff. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> oh. Ah. God damn it. Round the other side. I feel like this is like the long dark. I should be reaching in to get bloody um, snack bars. Shout out to Stephen Wilson. And we've got, a, got her cardi. I think it's a cardi. Uh, now we just tr trundle back down the hill and, and force this over her head. Where's she gone? She's there somewhere. Oh, there she is. She's a slender little thing. There you go. Put this on. What is she drawing? Oh, actually, I think we find out. Here we go. Finishing touches, and... It's me! Um, Cooperman! I guess. <laughs> Yay! Does have a very Charlie Brown vibe to him. Well, that's Squirrel from that film. Oh, hello! A Prezi! Uh, some treasure. Maybe, maybe it's some treasure. Maybe it's some 50 gold. Fifty years later, um, I'm guessing. Uh, I do look a lot older, but we both look a lot older now. 
And those chairs look surprisingly comfortable, actually. Something to curl up in. Having yourself a nice little bovril and a pie while watching Match of the Day. Although this doesn't really feel like Match of the Day territory. That's a nice fire, too. Oh, hello. I'm now a... All right. Is this made of plasticine? I think it is. Huh. Oh, 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 oh what was that? Uh, the postman is banging on the door. Um, I better go and let him out. <laughs> uh, shout out to Maka. Hello. Hello, it's Santa. It's the, oh, maybe it's the old man from Old Man's Journey. Uh, there's also a kid playing with a ball. Um, possibly my son? Grandson? No, probably, probably son. Right. Maybe it's a bomb. There's a lot of presents around here. Maybe it's the same present. Bye. You've got a key. He's got a key. My puzzle sense is tingling. Right, careful. Don't wake him up. Put the present. Um, give him the present? No, he's asleep. I don't want to startle him. What's that? Wow, I'm so hunky. He even lifts, bro. Oh, the booze. I found the booze. Lads. I have a sixth sense for this sort of thing. I want some delicious spaghetti. Uh, mm. Yeah, look, there's booze on the table. What else is on the table, actually? There's um, this is actually a very bright light. I can't actually... Oh, hang on. No. I'm actually being prompted to put the present down. Uh. <laughs> uh. Mm. Nah. Also, the booze is gone. I think she's been having a crafty swig. Ooh! Didn't offer me any. What's this? Oh, that'll probably be the kid. There's a lot of super... There's a serious superhero vibe. Um, superheroes everywhere. Like bloody Netflix. Can we go through there? I don't think we can go... Oh, no, no. That's them viewing the, the note again. Let's see where else we can go in this house. Ooh, nice clock. It's a very toasty fire. <laughs> Put the present on the fire. No. Oh, actually, look, there's loads of people here. This must be the entire clan. There's me on the left, or what was me at the start. And there's presumably actual me um, next to her. I don't know who she is in the middle. Uh, there's Victorian London with a gun. There's the old man with a key on the right, although he doesn't have a key at the moment. Uh, there's the kid with the ball. and Oh, there's a dog. Uh, there's also a mysterious blue... Mm, <laughs> not sure what the bird thing is. Wow, we're actually quite a good little family here. What can possibly go wrong in this game that's supposed to be really sad? Uh, right, so we're in somebody's workshop. Someone's a right old painter. Mm. Don't, can't see anywhere to put a present here, by the looks of it. Uh, looks like we're getting prompts to view all the pictures. Which is all very nice. I'll put the present in the bin. <laughs> oh. Oh, here we go. Look. Look, here we go. Maybe here. Let's see if we can make this a bit more presentable. Poss oh, there we go. That's more like it. Ah. How sweet it is to be loved by you. That's a good, that's a good old-fashioned phone. Probably not put it there. That means the smelly old books. Possibly the yellow pages. Where's that camera? This camera's gone really leery. Very <laughs> St. James. Yeah. Ah, oh, this is a kind of storeroom for all the, the future arts. This looks like a nice place for a Prezi. These eyes do... These characters' eyes do creep me out just a little bit. You can actually see the animator's thumbs pushing into it. Oh, here we go. So, we are actually now um, reminiscing about the start of the game. Um, all of ten minutes ago. Oh, she's... Oh! Oh, what's this? Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. There was hints of things going sour or sad at any moment. There's a cock in the background. Oh, no. uh, what the? I heard gunshots. 
Well, so did he. What's going on? Am I in control? I am in control here. Oh, I can't get out that way. I'm trying to escape Flintstone style out the window. Oh, shag. What's going on here? Oh, it's some... Oh, it's the it's, it's Victorian man with his... Oh, he... It's his dog. <laughs> oh, the neighbours. Oh, hello. Not now. I'm busy. Let's playing. Oh, kids. Anyone? Huh. Suddenly feel very alone. See, I'm not allowed out on my own. <laughs> uh, maybe I should go and get that Prezi then. Uh, where did I put it in my other body? I'm basically Sam Beckett at this point, leaping from life to life. Oh, hello. You're the other woman, presumably. Uh-oh. She's a bit tipsy, I think. She's got a corkscrew. Oh, no, she hasn't got a corkscrew. It's a can opener. Quite a large can opener. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, sling that there. I think she wanted to say something, but didn't. Mwah. Right, let's try and find... Um, presumably I'm going to find my own present here. Yeah, she's a little confused why there's um, why I did what I did earlier, presumably. And now we have Dirty Cam. Oh, that's nice and pretty. We're going to have a look in here. It's like, this must be the den. I wonder if there's a, like... Um, there were, there were like um, more places to put the present and it was like... Um, but you always put it down in the third place, maybe? Hang on, there's no present. Where's the present gone? Ah. Maybe we didn't put the present down after all, then. I think maybe we went into a reverie and buggered off. This does seem... This picture does seem incredibly important. This is presumably where we first... Banged. No. That would... That would be... Nah. <laughs> that would be crude. Oh, hello. Ah, the present. It's back. Also some food. Oh, they're going to recreate that. Oh, isn't that lovely? They're going to recreate that original um, scene. Yeah, let's do it. Even though we're now 85 years old. Again, shout out to the cock um, in the background. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat has gone. It's also the wrong sort of car, but... Oh, okay. So it's left turn to the uh, to the sea by the looks of it. Very impressionistic, this, isn't it? Actually, there's a little bit of a um, overlap with the long dark style, just a little bit. So now we are old people, feeling ever so slightly um rickety. I can tell you one thing: my back hurts. Ooh, what was that? The thunder? At least this time she's actually already got the cardigan. She hasn't forgotten about it. Yeah, this is not good. Oh, there's the there's, there it is. There's the um. It's actually a lighthouse rather than a you know a thingy. A doodah. Oh shit! It's raining. No time for flowers. I'm good to see the flowers have survived all these years. I presume this is a flat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God, let's get let's get to the car. Quick. A car in a thunderstorm. At least we're going to be in a Faraday cage. Come on, let's get him. You can drive. Oh, it's me. Someone can drive. Also, shout out to the incredibly long credit sequence. Right. Toot toot. Off we go. Yeah, careful. Make sure that we put the, um, the choke in. Right, it's turned into Grand Theft Auto. Holy shit, I actually do have control. Um, right, space goes quicker, and then just left and right. Ah! Right, off we go. So we had a nice time, but then it started to piss down. So let's go to the arcades. Oh, let's just go home. There's Netflix and chill. 
I sound so old. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, another reason to actually play the game for yourself is to, I guess, listen to the music, to you know, get absorbed by the music and everything. Because it is rather... Oh, oh, here we go. This is all rather lovely. Um, off we go into um, uh, Pleasant Valley, I think. Oh, we haven't actually started yet. Last day of June. Hmm. Oh dear. You don't seem very awake at the moment. That seems like a nightmare. Oh god. Um, the elephant in the room at this point is the fact that there is no, no one else in the room. Um, achievement unlocked. A bad dream. So it looks like I didn't exactly get uh, get away unscathed in the um, presumed accident. Hey, that's more like it. I've got wheels. Oh, nah, I'm still a little giddy apparently. Look at the mood on this. Look at the dark mood. Look how empty the house is. And look, the paint, the, the pictures have gone from the walls. Let's have a look around. Ah! Oh. I think it's having fun with the tropes of games, actually. <laughs> uh, the first time, in theory, you're able to... Um, Go through the doors, and you're now unable to use the doors. Uh, speaking of which, no way I'm getting up there anymore. Have another go at this. No, he's not even going to try. Fridge? Anything? Last night's pizza? Uh, Capri salad? No. We shouldn't keep tomatoes in the fridge anyway, should you? Right, here we go. Oh. At this rate, I am actually going to starve. Oh, here we go. Um, some pinnacle peaches. Mmm. Hey, what is this stuff? Ah. We did actually have a can opener in the in previous... But one scene. Hmm? Hmm. In theory, there's something up there, but I think that's just a light. I don't think we're ever going to get anywhere close to that. So it was guiding us to here again. But once more, we I think we do actually need to... Oh, we've, um, oh this, this time I think we're just about... Got the energy. Now we know we need to be in here. What's in there? Hmm. The old art room. What's in there, then? Some old bits. Maybe you actually are looking for the, ten um, the tin opener that we got so long ago. But where is it now? Let's try in there. Come on, it's got to be here somewhere. Nope. Piss off, box. Disappointing box. Let's have a look in you. The last box, I think. And the rule of three means that, yes, indeed, there it is. Oh! Just for a second I thought she was nude. Huh. Sam Beckett! Huh. Remember. Alright. So is this presumably me as a as a kid? And I have control now. <laughs> I am running around like an aeroplane. Good. What's this? Uh my football. Oh dicks!
Yeah, don't remember that picture. Huh. Some magical realism about this. Yeah. One more. Have a go. He's getting very angry at this point. Frustration. Oh, here we go. Oh! Huh? All those potential memories coming back to haunt us. I think this is a less stressful memory. Yeah, this is a bit more positive, isn't it? Ah. Oh, it's him! So I think this is presumably setting up um, the game, I guess. The things that we have to do. Well, I can't help feeling it's turning into a sequel to Outlast. <laughs> Getting echoes of her. And off we go into the night. Um, so we will stop here. Um, because this is, I think, um, I think that's uh, been a quite a good little introduction to the game. And it looks like now we actually have a lot of things that we could be doing if we can actually even open this gate. But yeah, this is proving to be quite fascinating. I'm um, um, getting quite absorbed in this, and I really want to see how the story continues. Um, but yes, I think that's the end of this particular video, though. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, do subscribe to be um, notified when new videos go live about all the la the latest and best indie games. And big and small. Uh, do check out my Patreon if you want to help support the channel. Keep us all going. Keep us all in beer. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.